morning. Oop. Well, I'm gonna have my homemade juice this morning for breakfast. It's got beets and pears and apples and oranges and all kinds of good stuff in it. Lots of ginger. So that's what I'll have for breakfast. And then we're gonna do the video. It's got same old kind of stuff in it. <laughs> but there's a couple other nice little, I don't know if they're surprises. Nothing real exciting, but that's for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers. Don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe. Mm. Needs a little bit more water. <laughs> you can hear me. I'm going to make my drink this morning. It's beets and celery and oranges and apples and a lot of ginger and some pears. I think I'm forgetting anything. Sometimes I buy some blueberry juice or grape juice to put in it. Um, that's what I'm forgetting is the grapes. Let me go get them. Okay, got them. Ready to go. Pears. Pick out the seeds a little bit. And they say apple seeds are poisonous, so I'll take out some of the apple seeds. Lots of ginger. This is the 
celery and the beet. Okay, baby, you better work. <laughs> I haven't used this in forever. Come on. Power. Darn, it's starting to rain. I did take some um, some juice out because I want more water in it. So I got room and I can put the rest of the stuff in. I'm going to put the grapes and some more um, celery and beets and oranges and ginger in there. So I'll get that real quick before the rain gets harder, hopefully. Cheers. I am going to put a little bit more water in there, but mm, I love it. I really love the taste of celery and ginger. I like to have a lot of ginger in it and a lot of celery. But the beets are so good for you. And I got everything in there. So cheers till next time. Okay, one thing I want to show, and I just realized that I didn't really show up in the other picture. But anyway, on this, um, it's kind of important to pulse it, because then all the, the thicker stuff goes to the bottom and gets mixed in better. So, you want to do some pulses on it.
I used to have a Jack LaLanne juicer, which really, you know, kept the pulp out. But the pulp's good for you. And um, mine broke. So the guy I was dating asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said I wanted a Jack LaLanne juicer like I had. And he got me this. <laughs> He never got me what he asked. He asked me what color roses I liked, and I said yellow, and he'd send me red roses. <laughs> but anyway, he still got me stuff, so that's important. Enjoy your day. So your little doggy pool isn't good enough. You have to get into Mommy's nice, clean bath water. I was in the shed, and I heard, I heard a splash, and I thought... Well, he's in his doggy pool. And then I thought, well, no, it sounds like he's on the other side. <laughs> so. Okay. So the least fun. <laughs> you always put your least fun jobs last. Anyway, I have to tear apart. I'm going to have to cut apart the skids. Which is not the fun one with my saw saw. And I got this one cut but decided to nail instead of screw and ended up cracking it which is a no-no so now I'm drilling holes first okay <laughs> so I pre-drilled my nails nail holes and you know I don't do this every day so anyway now when I put it up here those holes are not going to catch that board. So I have to put some holes. Um, here. And here. Okay, I'll have to get wood filler for those other holes. Darn, I couldn't figure out why my pants are stuck to my butt. <laughs> and then I remembered. Come over here and sit down on this stump. And it's seeping. Seeping sticky stuff. So now, I have to go change my pants. It was stuck hard there for a minute. I could hardly pull it away. Well, this got it off. It wasn't easy. It was in a, and it was in a pretty weird spot. But... It's just a little sticky, not much. Getting closer, even though it's not matching up. But I don't know that I'm going to care at this point. <laughs> I just got to get it done.
marking where I gotta do my nail holes pre drill to catch that board. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna have anything for this last one to catch over here, but it'll be pretty solid just going into there. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but it's getting done. Oh goodness, I'll be something. <laughs> I don't think, well, I would say, yeah, I'm the only person. I don't know if you can see that. Oh goodness. Right there is a piece of wood stuck in there. And I'm going to try and then I cannot get it out. I think I can move this whole thing there. I don't know. I'll work on it. Okay, i got to mark my board. Um, so, this one. You have to, I have to leave the, this space in the door. I have to have the door open to put the wood back in there. And brought it across here. So back here, I will mark this one on the angle. The angles on most of them are pretty much the same, but when I change a position, I kind of like to remark them. Oops. Now the rock is holding it up there, and it's Pretty much in line with that board. And I have to go on this side and pull off the plastic that was back here to mark this one. And it's right there. So once I got those angles, I can pretty much do them on the other boards. So there's one, and this one I'll finish out on the other one. the saw it was really jammed up with a piece of wood so I did get the saw fixed this morning and of course there always has to be a new problem so when I came out it's been raining so much and the door especially where it hadn't been painted um, I don't, it swelled so this side of the door won't close I've got to get out my sander, which is not an easy job. <laughs> it's underneath all that stuff over there. And I gotta get that out of my 
toolbox there. And besides, once I get it out, it needs fixed. It keeps on, the belt sander keeps on running off the track. And that's what I can really zip that down, that edge up there. I can zip it down really easy with the belt sander. Um, if I have to use my palm sander, it's going to take a bit longer. So, and I can't put my little, well, I still have to buy the hardware for this guy. I forget what it was called. Um, but anyway, it'll be little um, black iron brackets on each side that hold the bar across and hopefully I'll get some sort of a lock system set up but at least I did get all the boards on and the other thing I have to do is wait for stain <laughs> so anyway it will be done someday but it's getting close Normally, the tiny homes, I've said that they have an outdoor cooking kitchen because the tiny home gets too hot. But it's been cold the last couple nights, <laughs> getting, you know, 60 degrees, which is not really cold, or below 60. But I like to take the chill out of the air, and the sun didn't shine this morning, so I brought my cook stove inside, and I'm going to make boiled potatoes and fried chicken. And then I've also got some um, corn mixture that I'll heat up. That's corn with baked beans and rotel tomatoes. Mm, actually, there's some ground turkey, uh, ground turkey in there, but we'll have that too. Cooking away. Be back with you soon. Well, that's a wrap for today <laughs> on this stormy day. I started with some New Mexico skies, and we're going to end with some. So keep watching a little longer. Talk to you all next, next week, next Monday. Flooded yard. Oh, my poor plants. <laughs> oh, it's good that they were transplanted and got a lot of water, but I don't know if they're going to like that.